we had to call you because you're 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 very well known for your lip reading. How are you at awkward stare reading? How are you at that, John Boy? How are you? With <laughs> I, that? I'm going to find out. I'm working on that one uh, as we speak, and it is a doozy. It is very bizarre. Well, I mean, look, we, we knew this uh, sort of TSA checkpoint setup that Major League Baseball threw uh, into the mix in the middle of last season at some point was going to lead to an awkward exchange, if not a an outright ejection. But what the hell happened with Madison Bumgarner and the uh, umpire Dan Bellino yesterday, do you think? So as far as my kind of really quick, I haven't deep dove researches, is uh... – there in 2018 or 2019, Madison Bummer got ejected for arguing with uh, an umpire that was on Dan, what is it, Bellino? Dan Bellino, crew? yes, sir, yes, sir. Mm-hmm. That was on his crew, and then the next day when, uh, or the next time he was behind the dish, he squeezed Madison Bumgarner, so, and uh, he had words for him. So he seems like an umpire that loves standing up for his uh, brethren, another umpire. So as Madison, as Madison, as Mad Bum comes off the mound, he... He chirps at the umpire, says it should have been a strikeout because they, he thought the home plate umpire missed a call. And I think the Dan umpire is punishing him for yelling at his coworker by staring, like, really, that's how you're going to treat us kind of vibe, uh, but definitely just waits it out. And Mad Bum says, if you, you got something to say, <laughs> F you, and then he's out. <laughs> I kind of don't blame Madison Bumgarner. If somebody's just going to be just, you know, going through the motions of uh, of his job, right? I mean, if you're looking for something, you should literally be looking for something, like truly looking at the hand that you're inspecting, not staring at the guy while you're massaging his hand, waiting for him to say something objectionable, which is what – there's no other way to describe what we just – saw yesterday both actions on their own are awkward if if he was to stare at him like that and wasn't holding his hand it would still be painfully awkward and if he wasn't staring at him but massaging his hand for that long that's also awkward you combine the two and we're in a really weird territory of uh awkwardness well i mean and then the the making it even worse you know we 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 kind of saw this uh yesterday um at the end of our show because this was a matinee down in miami and so we saw this and kind of hit on it. And my, my thought was, like, okay, so 100% we're going to have to see what the umpire says after the game to, to, to explain himself. And all Dan Bellino said after the game was, quote, well, there really wasn't a conversation there, as the report will note, meaning the commissioner's report that they have to um, file. He just made some inappropriate comments and was removed from the game, and that's all he said. And that's not acceptable. That's not acceptable at all as an answer from the umpire. No, Wouldn't you agree? I mean, he definitely goaded him into it. The magic word for a lot of umpires is you once you make it personal. I'm sure if you put the F word ahead of that, that's a pretty easy trigger <laughs> yes. for them. But, I mean, that doesn't happen if he's not slowly massaging and staring angrily into his eyes. What It's, you know, it's like, hey – Get out of here, man. This is weird. So, so I think he would have uh, ejected him even if those weren't the words he said. He was just trying to eject someone. And I've heard this umpire was a lawyer and uh, really writes really, really detailed and good reports. And you can see from his comments after the game that he's kind of proud of that. He just keeps saying, uh, as the report will note, as my report will note. So I think he's pretty amped up that he has extra work after the game where he can put his uh, law degree. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, you know what? I mean, we could laugh about it all we want, but um, when it comes down to it, there, there should be no 100%. There should be no question that the umpire that's behind home plate or at any base in major league baseball does not take into the game with him, any sort of preconceived notion against a player or baggage or anything like that. I mean, that's what call being a professional is about, don't you think? I mean, what what do you think should be done here, if anything, John Boy? They're going to handle it all behind closed doors. But this is, I mean, it's the first inning. And as an umpire, you know how much this hurts the team. Now they have to use, I mean, how many pitchers do they end up using? One, two, three, four, five, six more pitchers to complete the game. That hurts them going into the weekend series. That hurts them going into the next game. And Madison Bumgarner's having a really good start to his season. 
and now he's got this one inning pitch, one earned run start on his record. It's just more at stake than your induced hurt feelings. You know, like your your feelings are only hurt because you wanted them to get hurt right there. You were searching for it. So it's. I mean, I I don't always like saying it's the ump show, but this was probably the biggest one we've seen in a while. I think so, and I I guess this is the holding of the beer of the Angel Hernandez-Kyle Schwarber uh, set to that we saw on Sunday Night Baseball a couple of weeks ago. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here. 